she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I sure. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in their Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Hey, Sturgis. You willing to do some work? I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We even sleep... Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Mm-hmm. It has to be able to. But it can't talk to the dead, can it? Even the sight. Diamond City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, this is me, Travis. Anyway, Rocket 69 is next. And, I mean, you don't hear them singing about the other 68 rockets, which kind of makes you think, 